check it out. Got my Insta360 ONE X2 back. So you might remember I, uh, well, it had a bit of a stack a few weeks ago. Um, scratched up lens, the body got battered around a fair bit. And because Insta360 is based in China, I had to send it away to Hong Kong to get repaired. So I've read a few people's stories that they'd had a bad experience with customer service and getting their, their camera repaired, but I've got to say, I think Insta360 did a really good job. So, timeline-wise, I uh, came a cropper with my camera on the 16th of July, which was a Saturday. So obviously I had to go through, do the start the claim on, online, um, and then had to ship it to China, and obviously, the post office isn't open on the weekend, so I had to wait until Monday. So it wasn't until Monday afternoon, which is the 18th, that I sent it off. And, you know, I sent it express post because I wanted to get there a bit quicker and make sure I had tracking so I knew it would be there, uh, knew it got there safely. And I got notification that it was received by Insta360 by the Thursday, I think it was. So only, only three days to get from Brisbane to China, or Brisbane to Hong Kong. And then it was only a day or so and I got the assessment. They had photos of it and everything to say what was wrong uh, and the quote to fix it, which wasn't cheap. It was $260 to replace the lens and the camera body because it was pretty banged up. Um, but you know, it's cheaper than buying a whole new $700 camera. Uh, so I arranged to pay that straight away um, and left them to do it. And I think it was about over a week for the repair to actually be finished and get notified that they shipped it. And lo and behold, on Tuesday this week, three weeks and one day after I um, sent it away, it was back in my hot little hands. So, you know, for a to send the camera overseas, get it assessed, get it repaired and sent back in three weeks. I think that's pretty damn good. But I've got some lessons learned out of it as well. First one, make sure you get the appropriate camera mount for the activity you're doing. So my problem was that the bike mount I had just could not handle the weight and vibrations of the selfie stick on the road. So the mount snapped, camera went down. So invest wisely. And the other lesson is it's worth spending the $75 to get Instacare when you first buy your camera. So this covers you for accidental damage and they'll give you one free repair. But you've got to register it within three days of activating your camera. Obviously I didn't. Um, $75 versus $260. So if you do buy an Insta360 camera and you do plan to do a bit of action with it on your bike or whatever, it's probably worth paying that 75 bucks and get Instacare. What I noticed with the camera that came back to me was that it has a new serial number which suggests that it's actually a refurbished camera sent out to me. And the good thing about that was that I was actually able to purchase Instacare for that refurbished camera. So I'm protected if I stuff up again in the future. Anyway, I've got it back on my hot little head and more videos to come. So thanks for watching. Ride safely, drive rarely, and I'll see you in 360 degree glory next time. Oh, 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 oh,